Hi, this is Lalit Vasist and you are watching Engineering Made Easy. Today we will discuss the Varactor Diode. Okay, and we will also see its construction and working. So, first of all, let's see what is a Varactor Diode. Varactor Diode is also known as a variable capacitor. Because it acts as a variable capacitor, we can change the capacitance of this diode by changing the reverse voltage applied across its junction. So, Varactor Diode is known as a variable capacitor diode, is a junction diode and its junction capacitance, this junction capacitance is also known as the transition capacitance, can be varied electronically that is by changing the voltage applied, the reverse voltage we apply here. Okay, we will see its uh, construction and working in detail in this uh, lecture. Now let's see the circuit symbol of uh, Varactor diode. As you can see here that uh, this symbol represents a diode, this is this arrow sign represents a diode and this is two plates of the capacitor, a variable capacitor. So, this is the anode and cathode, positive and negative terminal of the diode and uh, it's clear from this, uh, it's clear by this uh, symbol also that it is a diode working as a variable capacitor, okay. So, now let's see the construction and working of the Varactor diode. Here I have explained the working of a Varactor diode, how it works and uh, this is nothing but a simple p-n junction. This is the p side, here is the n side. As you can see the electrons we know that uh, in majority in p we have uh, holes and uh, at the n side we have electrons in majority. Okay, And this region from here to here is the depletion region. We have applied the reverse voltage. This is reverse biased uh, p-n junction. So let's see here how the things take place. Here since it is reverse bias, so the electric field is in this direction. This is the negative terminal and this is the positive terminal of the battery. And so because of this polarity of battery, the direction of electric field is in this as indicated by this arrow towards the left side. Okay. So as we know that uh, holes are positively charged and electrons are negatively charged, therefore the force on the holes will be in the direction of the electric field as it is positively charged. So, holes would be, holes would be moved in this direction, okay, in the direction of electric field that is away from this uh, depletion region. This is the depletion region, its width is W, I have indicated it with W sign. So, they will be pushed away from this depletion region and in the same way since electrons are negatively charged and uh, as per the formula force F equals to Q into E as the charge is negative here so on electrons so that they will feel a force in the direction opposite to the electric field. So electrons will also are also pushed away from this junction in this direction. So you can see here that uh, due to this direction of electric field due to this polarity we have electric field in this direction and because of this both the holes and electrons are pushed away from this uh, depletion region. Because of this, uh, the width of the depletion region increases. Got it? So, we know also that uh, when we apply reverse bias to a p-n junction, its depletion uh, region width increases. And because of this, as, they, uh, as the mobile charge carriers are moved away from this depletion region, we are left with only immobile charges here. So, now we will see how this uh, Varactor diode is acting as a variable capacitor and how we can vary the capacitance of the Varactor diode. Let's see it. So now let's see the working principle of Varactor diode. The width of the depletion region increases as the reverse bias voltage across p-n junction increases. Uh, we have seen it already that uh, on increasing the reverse bias across p-n junction its width increases okay as they are as the holes and electrons are moved away from the depletion region so it widens we know by the formula of capacitance of parallel plate, parallel plate capacitor that c is equals to epsilon into area by distance what is epsilon epsilon is the permittivity of the medium and a is the area of the plates of the capacitor parallel plate capacitor d is the distance between the 
plates of the parallel plate capacitor c is obviously the capacitance so now we will see how it is how the varactor diode here is acting as a variable capacitor so here in case of varactor diode p and n regions are analogous to conducting plates of the capacitor let me show you the diagram again yes see here here these p and n acts as the p and n regions acts as the conducting plates of the capacitor as they have the mobile charge carriers the, here it has holes and here it has electrons so they are analogous to the uh, conducting plates of a parallel plate capacitor these are conducting and here the region between these two plates this is the depletion region as it has the immobile charge carriers these are nothing but the immobile charge carriers these cannot move so this is the depletion region and uh, we also know that in parallel plate capacitor we have a dielectric medium that is the non-conducting medium filled between the conducting plates of the capacitor so it here acts as a dielectric non-conducting a dielectric insulating material between the plates so here we have two conducting plates and the medium between this is insulating acting as a dielectric so this whole system acts as or you can say is analogous to a capacitor parallel plate capacitor so now we will see how we can vary the capacitance since we know that as we increase the reverse bias the electric field increases and it pushes more holes and electrons away from this depletion region and this depletion region widens and you can say that the distance between the parallel plates of the capacitor this acting as a parallel plate capacitor increases the separation increases now we will see the concept with the help of this uh, formula here this d d is what the distance between the plates of the capacitor here we have used the w sign to represent the width of this depletion region working as a dielectric here so as we increase the reverse bias voltage that is the reverse voltage the depletion region width that is the w increases we can say that the distance between the parallel plates of the capacitor increases so by the formula of capacitance we know capacitance is epsilon a by d here d is the width of the depletion region so it is inversely proportional to the width of the depletion region so as the v increases the width increases of the depletion region and by increasing this width since it is inversely proportional to capacitance the capacitance decreases therefore we can say that this transition capacitance that is the junction capacitance is inversely proportional to the width of the depletion region so now we have control over the capacitance of this varactor diode by just changing the voltage that is the reverse voltage across this pn junction so we can say that this transition capacitance ct t represents the transition uh, varies inversely with the reverse voltage so by varying the reverse voltage we can easily control the capacitance of the junction therefore varactor diode is a variable capacitor diode okay i think it's clear now let's see the plot between the reverse voltage and the capacitance of a varactor diode how the capacitance varies as we change the reverse voltage across this pn junction so as you can see as we increase the reverse voltage the capacitance is going down capacitance is decreasing here at a low reverse voltage it is highest and as we keep on increasing this voltage it is going down so it is inversely proportional to this uh, capacitance so the capacitance is inversely proportional to the reverse voltage in case of varactor diode this property of variable capacitance by changing the reverse voltage finds many applications in various fields so let's uh, see the applications some of the applications of varactor diode are here listed it is used in fm radio and tv receivers it can be used as self adjusting bridge circuits okay it is used in self adjusting bridge circuits also in adjustable bandpass filters in tuning of lc resonant circuits in microwave frequency multipliers 
and very low noise microwave parametric amplifiers. We cannot uh, uh, discuss all these things how they are used uh, in this uh, short lecture. So, I have just listed the applications of Varactor diode here. So, hope you like the video. So, for more videos on other concepts, keep watching my channel Engineering Made Easy. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Friends, for more such videos, you can uh, subscribe my channel Engineering Made Easy. And please don't forget to like and share the video if you liked it. For more detailed information, you can uh, visit my blog www.engineeringmadeeasypro.com Its link is given in the description of this video. You can check it. See you soon in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.